Dear student, previous class we discussed about the electron affinity. Today I will discuss about the electro negativity. Today I will discuss about the electro negativity. Suppose think about a covalent molecule. Hence bond CL. Here is two electron are present. That is said to be one sharing. A single bond is formed between hydrogen and chlorine. On that two electron, both chlorine and hydrogen having equal rights. But chlorine have more tendency to gain the electron. As a result, this electron moves towards the chlorine maximum. That tendency is called electron negativity. It is the tendency. It is the tendency of an atom of an atom to attract the shared electron pair shared electron pair towards itself towards itself in a covalent bond in a covalent bond is called Electro negativity is called electro negativity. Look at that. This is a covalent bond. This covalent bond is formed between hydrogen and chlorine atom. Chlorine atom having more electro negativity than hydrogen. That means chlorine atom attracts the shared pair electron towards itself maximum. As a result, there is a Chance of formation of del minus, del plus, and that tendency is called electro negativity. Electro negativity have no unit, so we can write it have no unit. More is the more is the electro negativity, more is the electro negativity of an atom. of an atom more is the tendency of that atom to attract the to attract the shared pair to attract the shared pair electron shared pair electron more towards itself towards itself take an example suppose take an example that is your hcl molecule hcl molecule having a covalent bond and the chlorine atom having more electro negativity that means chlorine atom have more tendency to attract the shared pair electron towards itself So we can write in HCl molecule, in HCl molecule, chlorine atom having chlorine atom having more electro negativity, more electro negativity than hydrogen atom. So chlorine atom attract the attract the shared pair electron shared pair electron towards towards itself more so chlorine atom attract the shared pair electron more Towards itself. Next point is your electro negativity. Electro negativity of the elements of the elements cannot measure directly, but it can be derived. It 
can be derived indirectly indirectly by different scale by different scale and these scales are these scales are number one is your mullikan scale number one is your mullikan scale number two is your alfor and rochok scale number three is your pauling pauling scale these are the scale by which we can able to calculate the electronegativity of an element next point is your in modern periodic table in modern periodic table in modern periodic table the fluorine atom fluorine atom having more electronegativity that is your having value for the fluorine atom having more electronegativity that is your four while cesium while cesium atom having less electronegativity less electronegativity that is your 0.7 0.7 in modern periodic table the non metal having high electronegativity in modern periodic table in modern periodic table the non metal the non metal having high electron negativity high electron negativity now i discuss about the variation of electron negativity at first i will discuss about the variation of electron negativity in a period suppose take two element from second period one is your lithium another is your fluorine the atomic size atomic size of fluorine is smaller than lithium but the atomic number of fluorine atomic number of fluorine is more than lithium since the atomic number of fluorine is more than lithium so nuclear charge nuclear charge of fluorine is more than lithium due to more nuclear charge of fluorine fluorine having more electronegativity than lithium so we can write in a period the electronegativity goes on increases from left to right this is due to this is due to decrease of atomic reading and increase of nuclear charge more is the nuclear charge more is the nuclear charge more is the attraction of attraction of the nucleus to the electron as a result more is the electron negativity take an example electronegativity of fluorine is more than electronegativity of lithium now i will discuss about the variation of electronegativity along a group we know that 
in a group the atomic ready goes on increases from top to bottom as a result nuclear charge nuclear charge goes on decreases decreases from top to bottom if nuclear charge decreases then the electrons are less tightly attracted by the nucleus and very easy to remove the electron and the nucleus have less attraction power to attract the electron that means less is the electronegativity of that element so we can write in a group in a group the electronegativity the electronegativity goes on decreases goes on decreases due to due to increase of due to increase of atomic ready and decrease of nuclear charge 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 causes less attraction of nucleus to the electron that's why that element having less electronegativity take an example fluorine having more electronegativity than chlorine than bromine than iodine because the nuclear charge of fluorine is more than chlorine more than bromine more than iodine that is all about the variation of electron negativity next i will see factors affecting electron negativity what are the factors affecting electron negativity already discussed some point about the size about the nuclear charge more is the more is the atomic ready less is the less is the electronegativity less is the electronegativity due to decrease in the nuclear charge due to decrease of nuclear charge similarly you can write another point more is the nuclear charge more is the nuclear charge more is the more is the electronegativity electronegativity because more is the more is the nuclear charge nuclear charge of a nucleus more is the attraction of attraction of nucleus to the electron to the electron if the outermost cell if the outermost cell electron shielded more to the nucleus to the nucleus then the electronegativity decreases then the electronegativity decreases suppose take an example suppose uh, this is your nucleus of an atom this is the cell present if more electron are present here then these electron shielded the nucleus more as a result the nuclear charge that is your effective nuclear charge
decreases towards the another electron present outside the cell. So the nucleus have less tendency that is your less attraction towards the electron present in the outer side due to the presence of this electron. These electrons shielded the nucleus more. Remember, if more electrons present in the outer cell, then these electrons shielded the nucleus more. As a result, less is the electronegativity of the atom. That is all about your electronegativity. Now I will discuss about the electropositivity. Remember, it is the reverse of electronegativity. It is the reverse of electronegativity. It is the tendency to lose an electron in a chemical reaction. But uh, electronegativity is the tendency to attract the sap and electron towards itself. But electropositivity is the tendency to lose the electron. So you can write it is the tendency of an atom to lose electron to lose electron in a chemical in a chemical reaction to form positive ion to form positive ion more is the electronegativity of an element Less is the electropositivity of that element. Across a period, the electropositivity, the electropositivity goes on, goes on decreases due to increase of the nuclear charge. Increase of the nuclear charge. If nuclear charge increases, then the nucleus tightly held the electron and it is very difficult to remove that electron. That means in another sense, we can think that the atom has less tendency to lose the electron. If, if the nucleus having more nuclear charge, more nuclear charge, then the nucleus held tightly, held tightly to the electron and make difficult, make difficult to the electron to lose. If I will think about the electropositivity along a group, the electropositivity, the electropositivity of the elements of the elements present present in a group present in a group increases from top to bottom due to decrease of nuclear charge due to decrease of nuclear charge if the nuclear charge decreases then the electrons are less tightly held as a result the electron can easily remove from an atom if the nuclear charge if the nuclear charge decreases decreases then the electrons are held less tightly and as a result the atom loses the electron easily easily and shows and shows more more electron positive character that is your 
consider is also metallic character metallic character take an example cesium having more electro positivity than lithium because the size of lithium is more as a result the nuclear charge is less that's why cesium nucleus uh, held the electron less tightly and it is very easy to remove an electron from cesium as compared to lithium if you think about the element present in a period take an example along a period fluorine having more electronegativity than lithium fluorine having more nuclear charge as compared to lithium so the electrons present in chlorine are present tightly and it is very difficult to remove an electron in chlorine that's why chlorine shows less electropositive character than lithium that is all about your electropositivity